go to a breakfast Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you can see from the title, it is another crochet hair install video in today's crochet hair. As you also saw from the title, it's from Amazon. It's the Rocktress Jamaican Bounce Hair. Now this is what it looks like. I have it in the color 1B. The site says it is 12 inches. And when you order it from Amazon, you, they give you six packs of this. So it's six bundles of this in one purchase order of the Jamaican Bounce. Now I was heavily influenced by this hair because when I saw it, I saw it on India first. If you do not follow India on here, on YouTube, on Instagram, and she's really huge on TikTok. I don't know what you're doing because she installs and reviews some incredible crochet hair and everything looks great on her. But when I saw her, I was like a longer wand curl hair. Sign me up please sign me up you guys know i'm always on the hunt i'm not a fan of jamaican mounts when it's the normal eight inch or the normal 10 inch i want something longer and on her it looked very very long she's even used as the profile picture on the amazon page for it. it's the first picture that you see i am going to install this hair today if you want to see my install method just keep watching now this is my braid pattern. If you're familiar with my channel, my mother now does my braid patterns for me. She did nine braids, some going straight back, some going curved off to the side. Don't know the rhyme or reason for this decision, but as per usual, it's all coalescing into a little bun in the back. This is the hair. It's about 15 strands in each bundle, giving you about 90 strands in total since there are six bundles in the purchase. Also in the packaging came a crochet needle that I tried using. I ended up using it for 10 strands before it unfortunately broke. So very cheap, flimsy needle included. So first thing I did was split the hair to see how easy it was to split because it would inform my decision for when I get to the front. Pretty easy hair to split, but I will reserve splitting for when I get again to the front of my head. The install portion is so easy. All you're doing is pushing the crochet needle through your braid, attaching the middle section of the hair to that needle, pulling both the needle and the hair now through that braid enough that there is a loop created using the end of the needle if you want to to pull that hair through one time that's all I did for this was pulling it through one time and that is the process so simple and easy I will say that because this hair is so thick pulling it through with the needle was a little bit tougher so you can then instead pull the hair through with your fingers now again this is the hair the middle is easy to find because it'll be equal lengths on both sides push the crochet needle through your braid attach the middle section of the hair to that needle pull both the needle and the hair through so that you have a loop that is created you can take the crochet needle away from the situation and then use your fingers to pull the hair through the loop and when i get to the front i use smaller strands so that's when i start using the hair that i split in half and then I will do the same process. I will push the crochet needle through the braid, pull the hair through. Instead of bringing both strands through, I will only bring one strand through. That is known as the invisible knot method. It makes the knot look a lot smaller than when you actually pull both strands through and you want a realistic looking hairline. Also, you can pull the hair through multiple times if that makes you feel more comfortable. All you're doing is pushing the crochet needle through your braid, pulling the hair through. If you want to take the crochet needle away from the situation, that's awesome. Then pull the hair through one time 
and then pull it through a second time. Just remember, the more times you pull it through, the knot is going to get bigger. Someone in my last install video asked me how close up do I start invisible knotting and splitting the hair. It's usually right around here. It's not too far back, but it's right in this portion of each of the braids where I start splitting the hair to make it a little bit thinner and then invisible knotting just for a more natural look. I don't do it all throughout the braid, but it's really in the front where people can really see where I really start the split and the invisible knotting. Drops, falling from a rooftop Oh baby, tell me why'd you have to go Cause this pain I feel it won't go away And today, I'm officially missing you I thought that from this heartache I could escape But I've run it long enough to know There ain't no way And today so whew, after all that, the hair is a bit overwhelming. Gonna tame it down with a bit of mousse. Gonna cut it down with some scissors. Do me like you. I said every little thing you do. Hey baby, say it stays on my mind. And I am officially, it's official. Ooh, you know that I'm missing you. So this is the finished look. I'm going to turn around so that you guys can see how it is looking. This is the front. This is, let me lean in so you guys can see. I parted on the left like I normally do and people ask all the time, do I switch my parts throughout my wear? Not really. If you watch any of my other videos that are not reviews or installs where I'm just wearing a crochet hair, you'll see I look the same. It's not like I turn the camera on and I choose that life. That life has chosen me. I'm a left side part girl. Rarely do I wear my hair on the right side. Even if it would look good, I think for me, I'm just used. You're used to the way you parse your hair, whether you're middle, left, right side girl. I'm a left. I try to realistically part it this way so I give the most attention and the most I guess invisible nodding and all of that to this side because this side is the side that is out most of the time and that's to say I don't care about this side but as you saw from my braid pattern my mom did something different this time I don't be watching her but I give her full reign she did a lot on this side which I think is making my hair that's to say I hate this braid pattern but I think it's making my hair look a little bit fuller on this side than it would normally look which I think with time it'll go down of course the great thing about crochet here the thing that people typically hate is that it starts off big or that it can look big on them and they're not used to big hair for me most hair does not get bigger as you lay on anything it gets flatter if you put on hats anything it gets flatter to the face so it's big day one day one we got a lot of bigness but overall i used five packs in total of the six that come with it i didn't open the six pack i didn't need to open the six pack you could probably get away with a lot less than i did though i am loving the way that the curl looks again it being jamaican bounce they do have other options on the site i think they have an eight a 10 and 12 which i have is the highest that it goes i think it might even have a six it might have a six eight ten and twelve twelve being the highest that it goes so if you don't want a longer look then you can definitely get shorter i did apply some mousse 
very initially very initially again i tell you guys i don't have a mousse preference i use what i have i have the vigoral mousse which i bought from amazon but you can get any non-alcohol mousse and really i don't think you need it for this hair because i can see myself already i know i'm going to be using the hawaiian silky miracle worker 14 in 1 i already know because this hair is rigid which i tend to like i like a rigid hair you guys know if you follow my channel i'm not opposed to a little bit of roughness when it comes to my hair because typically softer hairs get frizzy matted tangled faster than a rigid hair which tends to take some time to get rigid or matted and all of those things but we'll see it might it might switch it up on me and that's why this is just an install video i make review videos where i come on and i tell you the complete wear of me wearing the hair so if you want to see that make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you have that notification bell on so you're notified when i do take this hair out and i have that review up make sure that you're following me on instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time tiktok at leelavon89 which is a little bit more real time and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.